Cascade Armory started because Alex and I really had the desire to be creative and be really inspired by what we're doing every day. I've always wanted to get in the clothing and textile business, so uh, my wife and I have been saving for about 10 years to make it happen and pulled the trigger about a year ago. Yeah, it takes a while to, to really grow the business and into something that you might be able to be supported by. Well, it's a true David and Goliath story. A local Ben clothing company has caught the attention of a large national apparel brand, and it's not the kind of spotlight any small business wants. Owners Alex and Diana Short said they received a cease and desist letter this week from athletic wear company Under Armour. We had been um, working on getting our trademarks approved for our brand. It took about seven, seven months, and the day that it was gonna be published, we got a notification that Under Armour was buying basically a window to oppose. They hadn't opposed, so they were just kind of putting in a roadblock for us to get our trademark put through. I remember thinking it wasn't real. It had to be a mistake. Under Armour is claiming that we are infringing upon their trademark and that we are causing brand confusion. Therefore, people might buy Cascade Armory because they think it's Under Armour. We don't think Under Armour actually even has looked at our product line. Um, if they did, I think they would see there's no confusion here. Um, our logo has an elk, um, totally different looking logo. Our theme is completely different. We have a lot of like comfortable fitting flannels and uh, tees and hoodies. I just don't see how there could be any confusion ever. We are located in the amazing town of Bend, Oregon, which is the coolest place I've ever lived. Bend is, is in the heart of the Cascade, Cascade Mountain Range, Cascade Lakes. And Armory is an array of resources for a particular purpose. So Cascade Armory, that's, that's where the name came about. Our love for the area and the community of Bend kind of helped influence what we wanted to do with this company and, and create quality apparel that kind of reflected what this area is about. We're a very outdoor-oriented family. My Daughter Amara, she's 12, uh, heavily into skiing, biking, climbing, skateboarding. Uh, same with my son Ariston. He's, uh, you know, they all they both compete in skiing, and they basically partake in everything that Ben has to offer. We do it all together. Bubba, you're charging. We've tried to negotiate with our legal counsel and Under Armour's legal counsel to come up with some reasonable creative solutions, uh, adjusting our trademarks so there would be no um, confusion, let's say in athletic lines or anything of that nature. Every time we do that, they come back with a very unreasonable counter that is usually ends up with us just closing up business and going away for good. All the legal counsel we've talked to have, are all in agreement that this is a, a long stretch, that it uh, doesn't really hold any merit, that there is no brand confusion, and this is pretty much uh, corporate bullying at its finest. They throw their weight around because they can, and they have the financial backing to do it. Under Armour is acting in a fashion that befits a large company with a large legal budget. So I think their intention is to carve out a very large space where the only thing that says armor is under armor. Their impulse to do that, in my opinion, has gotten the better of them. I would have a sense, although I don't know, that any jury or any finder of fact that heard Cascade Armory and looked at outdoor apparel like flannel and hats would be very quick to distinguish it from the sort of performance athletic apparel and the mark under arm. It's not difficult for us to coexist in the marketplace and nobody's gonna be confused. We have put literally our entire savings into this company. 
it puts a huge stress on us and our relationship and our lives because we, we work on this together and it's kind of our dream to build this company. It's been an unforeseen financial loss that we're taking. I, I know they have a long history of uh, putting a lot of small businesses out of business because of their name. A devout Christian, Terrence says the name Armor and Glory came to him after shopping for sportswear and finding too many negative images. Business was good until one day the mail arrived. We got the letter soon after we filed for our trademark. The letter was from sportswear giant Under Armour. It was a trademark infringement claim ordering Terrence to cease and desist, claiming Armor and Glory was a similar naming convention to Under Armour. You know, cease and desist, turn over all our apparel, pay their attorney fees. Their history of, of bringing these sort of things to court is to kind of like bleed people dry of legal fees. We've had the chance to talk with several of the other business owners that have had to shut down because of Under Armour and they're such good people and it's really a shame to see their hard work and dreams be taken away and we want to take part in stopping big businesses from this type of behavior. If we have to go down the legal path and take this to federal court, it could cost us up to $500,000. So for us to fight it, we're going to have to do a crowdfunding, hopefully get the support of other you know, small business owners and uh, be an example that you can hold your ground in these situations. Right, exactly. Being a uh, That's so small local merchant myself, we really appreciate these guys and uh, we certainly hope they get to keep their name because that's what it's all about. Let's hear it for the little guy. With your help, we are hoping that we can be the ones that are able to stand up to Under Armour and stop this type of behavior from happening. We don't want to fight. I, I, would, I would rather have them just go away and, and leave us alone, but I don't think that's going to happen. So. We gotta go down this route and uh, protect ourselves.